1881. Humanitarians Clara Barton and Adolphus Solomons founded the American National Red Cross, an organization established to provide humanitarian aid to victims of wars and natural disasters. Barton worked with the sick and wounded during the American Civil War and became known as the Angel of the Battlefield for her tireless dedication. She was in Europe in 1870 when the Franco-Prussian War broke out, and she went behind the German lines to work for the International Red Cross. In 1873, she returned to the United States, and four years later she organized an American branch of the International Red Cross. The American Red Cross received its first U.S. federal charter in 1900. Barton headed the organization into her 80s and died in 1912. 1927 American pilot Charles A. Lindbergh landed at Le Bourget Field in Paris, successfully completing the first solo, non-stop transatlantic flight and the first ever non-stop flight between New York to Paris. His single-engine monoplane, the Spirit of St. Louis, had lifted off from Roosevelt Field in New York 33 and a half hours before. One of the most highly regarded American aviators, Lindbergh took up a challenge made by Frenchman Raymond Orteg, an owner of hotels in New York, who put up a purse of $25,000 to the first aviator or aviators to fly nonstop from Paris to New York or New York to Paris. Six men had died attempting the long and dangerous transatlantic flight before Lindbergh was successful. 1999. The streak is over, Susan Lucci, announced Shamar Moore of The Young and the Wrestles, right before presenting the Daytime Emmy Award for Best Actress to the tearful star of ABC's All My Children. The award was Lucci's first win in 19 straight years of being nominated in the Best Actress category for her portrayal of Erica Kane. All My Children debuted in 1970, and Lucci would go on to play Erica Kane over the next four decades as the character married no fewer than 11 times was kidnapped, survived an airplane crash and a car accident, and many other notable events. By 1991, Erica Kane was, according to TV Guide, unequivocally the most famous soap opera character in the history of TV, with Lucci as the highest paid actor on daytime television. 1781. Major General Nathaniel Green and 1,000 Patriots attempted an attack on the critical village of 96 in the South Carolina backcountry. After failing to seize the fortified settlement, they began a siege, which lasted until their retreat on June 18, making it the longest of the Revolutionary War. 96 was manned by 550 loyalists and critical for the defense of the northwest portion of the state as the most strategically important position in South Carolina after Camden. Although the Patriots retreated, Green and Brigadier General Francis Marion were remarkably successful at taking back other British outposts. By the time the British left 96 of their own accord, on July 1, 1781, it was the last Loyalist fort in South Carolina, 1843. In what was dubbed the Great Migration of 1843, the first major wagon train with 1,000 pioneers headed to the northwest from Elm Grove, Missouri on the Oregon Trail. Although U.S. sovereignty over the Oregon Territory was not clearly established until 1846, American fur trappers and missionary groups had been living in the region for decades, to say nothing of the Native Americans who had settled the land centuries earlier. While small groups of pioneers had left for the West sporadically, this larger emigration was a product of a severe depression in the Midwest, and farmers dissatisfied with their prospects in Ohio, Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Many hoped to find better lives in the supposed paradise of Oregon, 2004 Michael Moore's documentary film Fahrenheit 9-11 beat out 18 other films to win the coveted Palme d'Or, the top prize at the Cannes Film Festival. It was the first documentary to triumph since 1956. Moore's film was a fierce critique of George W. Bush's and his administration's foreign policy decisions, principally its response to the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, and its decision to invade Iraq in 2003. Miramax Films, the production company that financed Fahrenheit 9-11, was originally set to distribute the film until its parent company, Walt Disney, blocked it from doing so. The ensuing controversy reportedly led to the 2005 split between Disney and Miramax founders Harvey and Bob Weinstein.